We are not doing Sosorobia today. Mm -mm. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Chantel here if you're just seeing me for the first time and I am based here in Nigeria. If you like what you see already, please do well to subscribe and also turn on your bell icon. Thank you so much. Before we dive into what today's video is all about, I know I'm going to get some questions in the comment section concerning my lip combo. It always happens in my videos, so I'm trying to make a conscious effort to tell you all what I have on before the video, okay? So for today's lip combination, I have MAC, MAC. MAC lip pencil in cherry and um, Milani Amore Max lip cream in 34 beauty. You see red and nude lippies. <laughs> I have different combinations, different hues, different shades and I love all of them. Okay, so now into the video proper. It is a perfume haul. We are not doing Sosorobia today. This is not a Sosorobia haul. This is a luxury perfume haul. But even though I have some Sosorobia perfumes, but I just wanted to show you guys my collection of luxury perfumes and yeah, just tell you what I feel about them and how I like to choose my perfumes. If that is something you like to see, then keep on watching. You all, I love to smell so sweet. I love anything fruity. I love fruity fragrances. I just love that sensual that I love. So the first on my list that I have is this one called Gucci Bloom. I'm sure so many people are conversant with this perfume. They have so many variants of it. They have the Gucci Bloom Aqua Di Fiori. They have the Netara Di Fiori. Green one. I cannot stand the scent of that. So this is the original Gucci Bloom. This perfume doesn't come cheap guys but if you want to copy you can wait for when they're having sales say Black Friday. Maybe not on the Gucci website but resellers always have um, percentages of and this has a top note of jasmine and tuber rose it's i think tuber rose is like a plant from india or something like i said i love my fruity scent so this also has a fruity undertone to it it smells so good the only downside i have with this thing is that i cannot check where my perfume has reached and i like to mice my expensive perfume so even if you look at it the bottle is opaque you cannot tell where the perfume has reached so that you can stop and save it so that it doesn't finish then you buy another one. That's how I like to use my perfume. I don't like using one perfume till the end. Mba, 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 mba. Nobody has time for that. So I use until it's many small, then I change to another one so I can just have the bottles and arrange them so well. Though in my life right now, I don't remember anywhere I arrange my perfume. They are here and there. Some are in my car, some are in the house, some are in the other house. It's just everywhere. But this is one of my favorite scents, the Gucci Blue Original. I really, really love this. The second on my list is my most expensive perfume guys. This is Chance by Chanel. This perfume is the most expensive perfume I own and I did not buy it. It was actually a gift. I am cop lying this one small small. I don't use it anyhow. This is for only serious occasions and see that I'm already quarter way gone and I'm, I'm, I'm not finding it funny to be honest but yeah this is Chance by Chanel and it is so fruity whenever I wear this perfume people always compliment me they're like oh it smells so nice it smells so sweet it smells very rich you smell very luxurious and I like to have that comment like, anyway I'm going to I just I just have to I just have to have that aura around me so this is it for me top notes of this are patchouli pink pepper pineapple and higher scent and it has middle middle um, notes of lemon and some other fruits I really love this scent like I said it smells so sweet and it has some woody effect to it as well I don't know how to really explain perfumes but from my understanding that's just what I said now <laughs> okay and this is the 100 ml size of it it's oud de toilette <laughs> Speak French. I'm Nigerian. If you're not Nigerian and you know how to pronounce this, it's oud de toilette. But one thing I've understood about oud de toilette versus oud de perfume is that oud de perfume lasts longer than oud de toilette because they have some essential oils that just make them last all day. But yeah, I really love this scent so much. And if I have my way, I'll be repurchasing it. Although not now with the whole exchange rate saga going on, I cannot buy it in Naira right now because it's almost two hundred dollars. So yeah. <laughs> the third perfume in this haul is La Vie Es Belle. La Vie Es Belle by Lancome. I don't know where the cover is. This is something I, this is the problem I have with my perfume. I can misplace covers a lot. This perfume is high end, it's very luxurious, and um, I really love this. It has a top note of black currant and pear. Middle notes are jasmine iris and orange blossom you guys this perfume smells so nice you can see that i'm already halfway gone using this so i have kept it in storage for future use i'm not using it anytime soon this was a gift from my mom and it's so gorgeous it smells so nice mm. and this is 
hold on all the perfume so this lasts longer on the body this lasts all day with just a little spritz on maybe your neck your hand and your decolletage it's it's amazing i really really love this perfume and yeah this is a luxurious high-end perfume it's called la vie es Belle by lancome I don't speak French so you guys understand the next on my list guys is Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs can anyone talk about luxurious perfumes without mentioning Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs this is also sweet I don't know what that means uh, okay it's an all the toilets not perfume it's an all the toilet spray and I really love this one as well this has to be one of my top five perfumes that I've ever used this is my second bottle of this one actually and it's so luxurious I love the bottle of it and this is a 30 ml size top note of this is cloudberry middle note is daisy and it has some base notes of cashmere musk and driftwood you guys I researched it before coming to film this video so don't think that I have this at the top of my head I already read about it and yeah that's it I've almost run out it's at the bottom already if you can see here so I've kept it in storage I'm not using it again unless of course i just want to finish it at this point the fifth perfume in this luxurious perfume haul is this one called hollywood royale by juicy couture guys the bottle is so bougie it's so luxurious it looks so rich 150 ml this is the biggest size of this i think they have a 75 ml as well this is also a floral fruity scent and it has top notes of candy apple i think pear it's so it's it's very nice i love the scent of this one i got this one off um mountain place in portaco when they were having one christmas sale i think two years ago it went down to about fifteen thousand or thereabouts. so i just copped for myself and in two years i've just used half of this yo i use my perfume judiciously i don't use it anyhow small 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 so it can last a really long time i've had this for about two years now and i'm just halfway gone it also has middle notes of jasmine and tuber rose and then it has um, base notes of marshmallow and vanilla you guys this scent is so sweet very very sweet i feel like this is one of my sweetest smelling scents i really love it but it doesn't last so long on the body because it's all the toilet not all the perfume you guys please forgive me without murdering this name but you get my drift at this point okay the sixth fragrance on my list is my only unisex perfume and it's my only oud perfume actually this is oud vanille by frank olivier and it is oud de parfum i don't pronounce this properly to save my life but yeah it's oud de parfum this one lasts so long if you have this on it's amazing like the name suggests it has a vanilla undertone and it is very fruity and sweet as well i really love this i love the bottle of it, it looks very rich and luxurious the purple color and it's see-through as well so i know where my perfume has gotten to i just started using this one actually a few months ago it has some top notes of caramel oranges and raspberry i really love this one a lot a whole lot and like i said it is unisex this is what size is this this is in 100 ml yeah the seventh luxurious perfume i'm going to be sharing with you all in this haul is called baby doll by ysl i've had this for a really long time over a year now but i've almost hit pan you guys can see clearly from there this is actually one of my faves it's a floral fruity scent as well like i mentioned at the beginning of this video i love my scents very fruity and very floral and very sweet so this is no exemption i really love this one so so much top notes of this are pineapple black currant oranges and apple it has a middle note of rose it also has some saddlewood and vanilla in here it's so sweet and i really love this one i really 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 love this this is in 100 ml size the eighth and last luxurious perfume that i own which i'll be showing in this haul is called guest 1981 this is not the cover of this one i don't know where i threw the cover but i just use this one now on it <laughs> i think this is one from one of my versace perfumes that's finished i can't remember yeah but going by the head on it see what i have left <laughs> This is one of my faves. This was a gift from my mom as well. Top notes on this one are violet and musk. It also has a bit of jasmine, saddlewood, pear, and a bunch of other sweet scents. I really love this one as well. This is also in a 100 ml size. Have you tried out any of the perfumes I listed? Let me know in the comment section how you liked it and if you recommend it to other people. So guys, that's it for this video. These are some of the scents I own that will last all day. It will keep you smelling good all day, keep you smelling rich all day, keep you smelling like money all day, every day. <laughs> 
you guys these are just luxurious perfume brands if you want me to do something more affordable and lower end let me know in the comment section and if you also want me to do a body mist version of this video like body sprays that I use that are affordable and the ones that are pricey as well let me know as well in the comment section give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching share 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 and um, subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching thank you for tuning in today I love you guys so much can't wait to see you in my next one bye